All right, hey there everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video today, we're gonna to be taking a look at how you can take anything that you have inside of a cabinet and make a pull out or a slide out shelf. In this situation, um, I've got a trash can and I recently did a video on how to um, make a build-in trash can, um, but we wanted it to be able to slide out just like this. Prior to this video, we weren't able to do that. So how can you make something like this? Well. Let's help you out here, uh, but first let me just show you around at what exactly I'm talking about. Just a shelf made out of wood, and I installed these little glides, and I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, and everything slides out beautifully, silent, quiet, and here's what we're dealing with. Um, these are drawer slides, and I happen to pick stainless steel ones, and I'll pop a link in the description below. They come in various lengths. This happens to be a 10 inch one, and basically they slide out just like this. The part on the left attaches to the actual drawer or the shelf that you'll be installing. And then the part on the right, uh, the two parts together on the right, basically install in a stationary position inside your cabinet or wherever you happen to be installing this. Um, this video does not show you how to do uh, drawer slides for an actual existing drawer and I'll show you why and I'll probably try to put out another video on how to do this once that time time comes but basically you see things are kind of not pressed up all the way against the wood they're actually kind of straddling from the front of the of the drawer all the way to the back and they they live in this little brace okay so that's not what we're going to be doing today but the concept is pretty simple instead we're going to take an existing um, cabinet whatever you happen to have and we're going to be kind of building out our own little base there. So everything's nice and secure. Here's another shot at how the drawer slides work. Look how smooth these are. I highly recommend this particular product or a similar one. Again, I'll put links down below. Um, if you get the plastic ones, they're gonna, with the wheels, they're gonna actually make noise. These are super quiet. Not a single issue with sound, I promise you that. They're all greased up, so wear gloves when you're operating this. It's got lubed up with like white grease, you know, right from the factory. Not, not you know, slopping wet, but you'll definitely get a residue on your finger. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the project. Um, first of all, I'm gonna basically measure out um, how much I need to build that glide or that slide out from the wall of the cabinet. You can see it has to clear that that lip. And so I'm going to be using uh, basically one by twos for my cabinet here. Um, just plain pine, as you can see. So I'm going to build those out and then I'm going to paint them first. I don't want to paint them later. Well, you, you, you possibly can. It depends if you want to seal up the backside or not. Um, I'm just going to paint them first and kind of get that done with and I'm gonna make sure everything is nice and square. Uh, that is important. However, it's not crucial because I'm not gonna actually build a frame um, that, that's gonna be square. I'm gonna show you a little trick on how you can avoid having to have this perfectly square, okay? So with those installed and secured, we're gonna not worry about the gaps yet either. We're gonna be cocking that in a later step. We're gonna take the the glides here you can see and we're just going to line them up and kind of get an idea of where we want to install these clearance is the biggest issue you don't want things to pull out to snag on any of the cabinet lips right so i'm just going to take a piece of scrap wood and just pop it down on the bottom this is going to ensure that both of the glides are adequately raised up over the lip of the cabinet and that they are also pretty much equal on the right and the left side so with that in place, I'll put an, a screw right in the middle. I prefer the middle screw to be the first screw because if I make a mistake or whatever um, with clearance, I can maybe tilt it up or tilt it down just a little bit. And you don't need to tighten those all the way firmly, um, but you know, obviously get them um, a, a little firm. You can tighten them up in a later step. Um, so with those center screws in, uh, we will just test everything and pull, pull out the glide. And we'll do the same thing on the other side using a little spacer down below and putting a center screw in to hold it, allowing you to tilt it up or down if you had any errors. So here's what things should generally look like. Make sure you close the door to make sure you have clearance there. All right, now again, you don't have to, if you're building a frame, um, you would be 
required to measure to have a basically a perfectly square frame. So, uh, and if it's not square, the consequence is you're going to have issues. Um, maybe it gets stuck as you pull the drawer out or whatnot. Uh, again, my little trick here, I'm going to show you how you don't have to build a frame. It doesn't have to be um, perfect, perfectly square. And you're going to use some one by twos just like this. I'm going to grab some other one by twos and I'm going to measure them the, the depth of the cabinet and I'm going to cut them and paint them. And basically, I'm just going to be attaching those extra little one by twos to the mounts. I'm not going to have perpendicular wood on the front and the back, just the sides. Okay, so what you see here, I'm making the marks just to make sure that they are lining up um, with the holes. And I'm going to be installing them basically just as you see that I'm doing here. So with your pen, I'm marking the kind of the positions because to get to these screw holes you have to take out this little piece so let me pop this out real quick there we go remember those little plastic slides they just pull up and that thing should release and with the correct positioning I will take this and align it as so got one hand here so bear with me all right, and I'm going to position the slide toward the bottom of the wood because I want things to be raised up as high as possible for clearance. So using those little marks that I indicated earlier, I'm going to go ahead and set a screw there. And you can choose any hole, basically. kind of depends if you want um, to be able to, to move the bracket up or not. They allow some room for adjustment if you need it. Um, so with those positioned and in, uh, secured tightly, I can install these little mounts here. So the one by twos, okay? So just two of them. And you can see here, they don't have to be square like I was talking about earlier. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing in a later step is putting your shelf right on top of this, thus avoiding the necessity to have things perfectly, perfectly 90 degrees at all four corners. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing here with the with the left. Make sure everything before I you know, tighten it permanently or whatnot, make sure everything closes and opens just as I want it to. Now I'm gonna take a piece of wood and this is gonna be my, um, my shelf. And obviously I've got room to the right and to the left, but I can't build out any further because it's gonna hit the lip of the cabinet as it comes out. So basically the, I'm stuck with, with basically that and that's okay. But I am gonna cock up the gaps that we made earlier. Uh, just some paintable caulking here get it nice and thick, one line with your finger to kind of get everything smoothed out. You don't want any bumps or anything. And once that dries, you can paint over that so it looks nice. All I want to see is white and stainless steel, basically. All right, and I'm going to paint my shelf, of course. And once that's dried, I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Now, obviously, you want to measure the shelf really well. Um, depth wise and width wise to make sure you have enough clearance and for your door to close and once you're happy with that you can take uh, some screws I happen to have a brad nail gun uh, minimal intrusion right there and I'm going to nail it to the bottom of the those one by two mounts that we made earlier all right so in one of the final steps here we'll take some quarter round and cut that down to size this will serve as the front lip so that when I pull my trash can it's not going to tip over it'll actually pull out and it won't slide out, right? The, the trash can won't slide off the, the shelf. It'll actually pull out like that. And I do recommend installing one on the back side too because when you push the trash can back in, you're gonna want a lip to for it to hang on to and push the, the shelf in so it doesn't just, like I said, so the trash can doesn't slide off the shelf. Um, so we'll go ahead and position that and just some nice wood glue. You can certainly mess around with screwing that if you want, but some wood glue and some caulking um, around the sides will secure that in place really well and of course don't forget to paint it to match and um, oh there's me painting the going over the um, the caulking that I did in an earlier stage paint that up so it's all nice and uniform and that is basically it you've got a uh, cabinet here with a trash can that now pulls out let's test it make sure we are good to go, got enough clearance. We'll buy a sexier trash can later for it, but for now that'll, that'll do. 
And again, check out my uh, other video if you are interested in converting your cabinet to a built-in trash can like this with that little stainless steel flap that you see on top of the wooden countertop. That was a really fun project. Um, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you are interested in more home product reviews and do-it-yourself jobs around the house. I put out videos. I uh, try to do it weekly, um, but of course, depends on life. We'll stop it there. Thanks for joining me.